Hey everybody, TJ here with Street Kids Softball. I am at Samaris Tavern in Elkhart, Indiana, and uh, we're we're very excited today because we're going to be talking with John Boyd. John is going to be running for mayor of Elkhart, and what makes it so special? The first thing you're probably thinking is, well, why do Street Kids care about that? Because we never really got into politics before. Well, I can tell you why, because we're fortunate that John is uh, part of the family. He uh, plays for the B3 Samaris Street Kids team out of Elkhart. So uh, when we found out that he's going to be doing that, we were more than just excited to uh, to talk with John, but. Uh, we wanted to kind of let the, the viewers and the people that uh, follow our website to kind of see what John has to say and uh, talk about some of the issues. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's sit down and talk with John. Hi, I'm John Boyd. I'm here at Samaris Tavern, West Bridges Street in Elkhart, Indiana. I'm running for mayor of Elkhart. First of all, I'd like to thank TJ and the Street Kids organization for allowing me to sit down and talk to the people of Elkhart. We're going to go into some questions right now. Some viewers, some emailers. <laughs> To just pretty much get a sense of what's going on in Elkhart and how I, as mayor, will deal with the situations. Jared from Elkhart writes, what are your top priorities if you become mayor? Well, Jared, I first plan on to deal with unemployment. Unemployment is a very serious situation in not only Elkhart, but the county surrounding. I have a few ideas. It goes as follows. I, first of all, want to relieve some of the illegal aliens that are in Elkhart City and Elkhart County. By doing this, I feel that it will free up jobs, make it to where honest Americans that are unable to get a job will be able to do so without any problems or you know road bumps in the road to do so. Uh, I also feel that once doing this, it will free up not only jobs, but it'll just make a, a lot easier place to live. We won't have to worry about, you know, people worrying about taxes not being paid by certain people in the area. We will be able to just come in with with a, a certain satisfaction of whew, it's gonna be a lot easier to deal with things, people have jobs, people, you know, when people have money, they're happy. The root of all evil is money, but it also makes the world go round. Connie from Elkhart also sent an email in. Says, how, what do you see as your biggest challenge to face? Well, obviously, my biggest challenge to face is definitely unemployment. Uh, I also have issues with education. It's my second big highest point. Uh, I also have problems with people email me every day about what are you going to do about the roads in Elkhart County and Elkhart and stuff like that. Well, obviously my biggest challenge is definitely unemployment. Education, I also plan on working with the city council and seeing if we can maybe legalize gambling inside Elkhart City and taxing it 35%. And taking all that money and going right into the education fund. Nothing else, strictly education. To where we can hire secondary teachers in every classroom, to where the kids have more of an on-hand version. With one teacher in each classroom, you got 30 kids in each classroom, they don't quite get all the attention of the teacher. If you put two teachers in, it's a lot better and I know this for a fact because of my children I've seen it on hand with two teachers in the room it does so we'll be able to hire more teachers we'll be able to hire better facilities better school books more equipment all these things and will make it better uh, as for the roads I plan on using our own things that we have in Elkhart City. We have our own trucks, we have our own pavers, we have our all these things we have already, but we continue to hire outside people to do this. Not only will this save money for the community, but it also will benefit our, it will add more jobs to our city crew, and that's what I plan on doing about those things. Courtney also had a question. She says, what experiences do you feel that make you qualified for this position? Well, in the past, none. But today's a different time. It's a different place to be now. Things of the past are a lot different than they are right now. Right now, Courtney, 
it's going to take a very special person to be able to fix all these things in our community. And I feel I have that. I'm not a politician. I'm not going to sit here and promise you things I cannot deliver. I'm a people person. I believe in the same things as a guy walking down the street right now has. I'm more of the what's going on right now kind of person. You fix the things going on right now, things will get better gradually. I can't sit here and snap my fingers and make everything right. It's going to take time. The qualities I have, I talk very well. I can go up to a person, have a 30 minute conversation with them, and tell them what they need to hear or what, you know, what will make them feel better. I can do that, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna tell them straight up, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. It's not my style. I will tell you straight up every time. I'm not politically correct. I don't have to kiss extremities for people. <laughs> I, uh, I just feel that if I am a person, I came from the other side of the tracks, I'm a real person and I think like a real person. And that's how I'm going to handle everything that comes across my desk as a real person. I also have an idea that to send out a newsletter every month to let people vote on how we're going to use our money, how we're going to deal with certain situations, and majority will rule. Thanks Courtney for that question. Emily from Elkhart asks, what do you plan on doing with teen pregnancy? Well Emily, this is a tough situation that many people previous to me have tried to deal with. I will do my best to regulate what's going on. But as the mayor, I really don't have a lot of power to do these things. But there's things I can do. I can make sure that there are better education for sex in the schools on this situation. I can provide after school programs, teen hotlines, all the things that the, is given to me in these powers to deal with these situations. I will also ask for the public's opinion and go with what's best because that's how I do things. I'd like to thank everyone for their emails and questions. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them, but that's the way it goes. I'd also like to thank TJ and the Street Kids for helping me with this, and I'd like to thank Samaria's Tavern for giving us a place to do it. When it comes to be November, I want one question in your head. Do you want the way it used to be, or do you want to try something different? Now, I may not have all the answers for your questions. I never claim to, but I will do my best to help anything, everyone in this city. So come November, John Boyd's your vote, the people's champ. I've been called many things, unethical, unorthodox, criminal. What will you call me in November? I'm John Boyd, I'm running for mayor of Elkhart.